you want to make sure the hook this side, so the elbow would smack straight into the bicep. So we're gonna burst the time on, yeah? So, like this, straight there to burst it. Hi everyone, it's Master Wong here today. It's another beautiful day again for training and learning and do all the things that you love to do to exercise your body. Exercise all the things into your body to make sure it's strong and nice and ready. And get moving because why the sun coming out everything it look good and you create a lot of problem why people keep an eye on you and see you look too beautiful and they don't like it they might slap you they might do all the things that uh that don't lie on you okay and some of you watching for this and haven't subscribed to me yet make sure it's the button right here whack it so hard so i can able to uh, upload when i upload the video you can able to uh, get them right away on onto it make sure you're hitting the ding dong the bell okay so what's the lesson today the lesson today is how to dealing with a bigger person coming in hook you and what sort of tool do you need to able to do that and go back to the basic rule Wham! the elbow coming in here to make sure you attacking the arm press the point make sure you hurt them attacking here onto the shoulder make sure you hurt them as you're hurting them it becomes so much easier for you to deal with things so let's watch it together no problem, man. <laughs> this is how we deal with a bigger guy. This doesn't matter how big they are. You don't change in the way you do things. Okay? So the whole idea is you're using the strongest part of your body. Elbow. Okay? Knee. This kind of movement. So if you come across with somebody like this, you've got a big guy like this, got a problem with you. You've got to make sure you set up your body positioning. So from there, you drive the elbow coming in. Okay? You drive it in <laughs> like this. Go straight to the solar plex area. That's one way to deal with him right away onto the movement. Second, if you're a big guy, if he start to hook you, if he start to hook coming in, okay, you want to make sure hook this side, so the elbow would smack straight into the bicep. So we're gonna burst the time on, yeah? So pull like this, straight there to burst it, okay? So you've got to make sure no more M arm left. Don't matter how big the time arm is, they're doing away. The one elbow landing to here, he won't be able to pick the hand up to do anything anymore. This is important. And second thing you got to understand as well. As you can see, the basic idea of it is don't put your hand down. Keep your hands up like this. As you through your training, as you see in combat ready, hand like this. Okay, onto the ceiling towel side, hand into here. Not your position here, okay, and hand out like this. Keep your hand out like this to prepare. Why? Because you don't know what you're gonna do. So the idea is Sunni move, hang the elbow straight away coming in here, straight away, hang in here to dealing with him right away. Because sometimes somebody bigger than you, it's gonna be difficult for you to use in your hand. And because of that, you need to get yourself in a good position, ready to hmm, the elbow can use in your waist, positioning, waist, hmm, into it. Hmm, whole body and drive the elbow into the solar plaque area to make sure he won't be able to get up and try to hurt you ever again. Because when they're bigger, they hit you, it's going to be painful. So need to understand this basic rule. The basic training will get you to do all that. So let's watch this move together and I will talk to you in a minute. It's a keep the distance, okay? He might be big, but he's not. It's the same. He thought it's the same, okay? So the movement of him, you got to understand it. Come back in. Don't matter how big he is, the nut, okay? It's a wicked spot, okay? Here, you're straight there to get rid of him right away. Very basic and simple movement. So the most important thing is you need to make sure to get in right position to set it up. What happening? So if we got argument with somebody, hand up like this, any problem with those, you turn your body right up, straight away. So the plaque and get rid of them, okay? You don't give them the, 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 the chance to be able to do things with you, okay? If they're coming to you. So the second thing you've got to learn as well, make sure to keep your hands up like this. Move out of the way, move to the nut here, straight away, okay? So straight away, move to the nut like that, and then straight away to the sober plaque. Again, you knock him out straight away, because no matter how big he is, he nut is not made from iron, okay? So he will be get straight to the nut and he drop, and you can deal with him. He have the big arm, he might come to attack, so the idea is when you come to hook coming in here, straight away, the hand, the elbow directly attack into here, okay? Not from here because it will be a lot of power coming from here yeah. that will be knocked you over, okay? So that, that's why you got to come straight into here, onto there, and then from there, 
him straight away and he dealt with As you can see, the idea is a distant. Soon you can turn that, you can kick to straight, pump to the nut here, boom to straight to the sober plex, that can be done. Okay? Oh, pump that elbow coming in here like this, that can be done. All this basic movement here is all about you to understand about the situation, the awareness of everything going on. When you are aware of all the uh, surrounding around you, then everything you do, it becomes a lot more easier. Are you going to use in the elbow? Are you you're going to kick straight to the nut? Sometimes it's it palm to straight to the nut like this on the pull back. You know, when the pull back is broken and that's it, you won't be able to do anything anymore. And some of the watching food this here, comment below here and tell me what sort of thing you got a problem with, and I will be here to answer some of the questions. Or we're going to make uh, next video we're going to do, we can add it on so you can help you to learn as well. So when you're working like this, you need to understand that, okay? The whole idea of an when you're hurting the bigger person, you want to hurt them when they come in front of your face. You need to prepare. Prepare for the worst and hope for the best because they're not going to lightly hurt you. They're going to really want to hurt you. It all depends what the situation is. It's all about the intent of the person. Maybe you look at their girl, maybe you're doing something naughty and he just piss on you and he just hate you so much and want to grab hold you and he want to tear you up. And because of that, you need to be balance okay get your body balanced solid and get everything in position ready to launch in the attack if you're not you know what happened it's going to be a nightmare so some of you watching through this and you want to train into uh training to want to be instructor or the student want to train on full training program onto the wing chun tai chi side or self-defense side then go to our website the masterwong.tv down here or underneath this video here is the link okay that's uh take you there onto the description on here that link there to take you to the website for all the information you need to learn about the Wing Chun Tai Chi and the self-defense side and also I have book and everything else uh, on it to helping you throughout this training here I'll go through all the things that you need to do so you can able to learn otherwise some of you watching through this and you got any question of that asking me and I will be here to answer the question otherwise you keep practice on here or uh, the free training program that will helping you to learn and give you the idea so when you are ready and want to prepare and want to learn and take yourself to the next level, check me out. Okay, Master Wong here. I will see you on the next lesson.